Gamers, I love building fishing docks. You can probably tell with the amount I've made in the past. So in this episode, I thought instead of just building a simple dock, why don't we build an entire island and transform it into a fishing village? Let's get started. Okay, like with most projects, we of course need to find a suitable location to build our island fishing village. Now, whether we find an existing island that we can use or have to build one ourselves, I'm completely fine with uh, whatever that option is. And straight away, I'm already seeing something out here that I actually haven't even spotted before in this world. Honestly, I don't even think I've looked this way, to be honest. And it looks like, I don't know if that's actually part of the mainland or not, but it might be pretty easy to disconnect it if it actually is. Let's grab our scaffolding and just make a giant pillar and get a bit of an overview here. Okay, so it does look like it is actually connected, maybe? And it's all like messed up. What the hell's going on there? That might actually be a ravine in there. Now, honestly, I don't know if I want to use this, but it's going to be perfect. We could literally just shape that into a circle there, into like a bit of an island. So would I want to go over here instead? Ah, oh, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to set on here. It's just going to be a lot less work than this spot over here. We're going to have to clear this entire mound. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is head over and get some excavating done. So let's jump in the boat and head on over and check out the island. Oh, I feel like Captain Cook kind of like, you know, discovering new islands, except we're not killing indigenous people, which is pretty cool. So let's see if my suspicions were true. Yes, it is. We've got a bit of a ravine back here. All right, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start uh, excavating this island and shaping it into a bit of a more circular shape. So yeah, of course, cue the time lapse. And yeah, this took a lot lot longer than expected. Getting the island to a decent circular shape was a challenge. I had to constantly go up my scaffolding pillar and back down to shape it and just kind of hope that it worked. I also cleared a bunch of the surrounding landscape too. All right, and there it is. There's our fully transformed island. Perfectly circular. Well, not perfect. Um, It's a little bit wonky. I don't want it to be exactly perfect, you know. But there's our island all transformed and ready to work with. Now, the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is add a dock that surrounds the entire thing. Something that might even be cool is I originally planned to have a circle around the whole thing of docks, but I have this kind of chunk taken out of the land. It was already kind of there, and I just kind of exaggerated it a bit more because I thought it would be a cool feature. Maybe, like, we could have it start here and then go all the way around and end here, and then maybe right on this corner we could have a bit that sticks out. I think that could actually look really cool. So the next thing we need to do is uh, actually start building the dock and figure out a design and how exactly we want to lay it out. All right, so there's a whole heap of fences and fence gates and also trap doors and slabs. So now let's actually get started building this dock. So I think maybe let's leave a gap of maybe two between the island and the start of the dock here. And then let's of course just make the dock three blocks wide. I think that's going to be the best. And I want this to maybe come up an extra block. So if we have it like this, it's basically going to be on the water line. I think I actually might want to go up one more block just so it's actually a little bit more elevated. And that way we can add interesting things like little steps down like this, like a little area where you might be able to just walk down into the the water or somewhere you can just quickly park up your boat or something. I think that's pretty cool. I actually really like that. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is now space these apart by three blocks and kind of figure out how to actually make it circular because it's going to be pretty difficult actually. And I might actually make an outline all the way over here as well so that we have kind of a point to aim for. But yeah, this is going to be very long and tedious and painful. Okay, that outline there isn't looking too bad. Definitely a lot more of a challenge than I anticipated. Let's get these risen up to the correct heights. And actually, real quick, let's maybe just play with this little area over here and kind of figure out the design that we want to settle on. So let's extend this over to these pillars here. And then the usual design I would do is just some trapdoors like this. And then I'd put some fences and fence gates on top. Let's see if I can do it. There we go bang bang and yeah I really do like the look of that it's just such a classic you know dock kind of look we could kind of amplify it by maybe doing something like this just extending our slabs out here so we have a little bit of an arch instead but honestly I just prefer the solid trap doors even though it's probably going to be more expensive with the wood I just think it looks really nice and so I'm thinking on this side here we'll have a bunch of spots that'll connect up to the mainland here with like a little bit of a walkway we'll just have a simple little walkway like this that'll just connect up like that we might do that every like second or third section. I think that'll look quite nice. Then as for the tops of the pillars, I think we could probably add slabs on and then on top of the fences, we could add our lanterns. Now, do I want to do stone slabs on top of these? I think that could look pretty nice. It'll definitely break up, you know, the uh, very woody look of the dock, which is fine. You know, a dock is meant to have a lot of wood predominantly on it, but I think adding stone could look really good. So I'm going to go mine a little bit of stone that was actually over here just so we can kind of see how it looks. Bang, bang. There we go. There's the stone. Yeah, I'm really liking the way that looks, actually. That is pretty nice. All right, so I'm sold on the stone here. We're going to add that onto the tops of every pillar. And yeah, 
yeah, so that's the basic dock design right there. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, get started on the arduous task of repeating this around the entire length of the island, all the way up until this point right here. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do these corners. It is going to be an arduous challenge. So once again, roll the time lapse right now. Alright gamers, and there is the completed dock going all the way around the island just to uh, that point there. And yeah, it's a little bit wonky in some places, but we're not going to talk about it okay. This was pretty hard to do. It took literally probably about an hour just to build this whole dock, but I actually think it turned out pretty nice. And so that leads us to the next thing, which is actually going to be building all of the houses on the main island here. And so I've got a bit of an interesting block palette in mind. You guys have told me to use different block types, which I've tried my best to do. Uh, you know, I did over here a little bit using some diorite and deep slate but um yeah we're gonna spruce it up even further so what i'm gonna be getting now is some dark oak bricks and stone i'm gonna uh I know the stone isn't different, shut up, okay? But it just works with my uh, block palette that I have in mind. So what we need to do now is go ahead and mine a whole bunch of clay, and I also need to find a dark oak forest. I remember in episode one, I actually went past one, and so I remember I came from that way because I spotted the village. So I might have to actually check the footage to see uh, where I came from and where that dark oak forest is. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mine a bunch of clay, and I'll be back in a sec. Actually, this is, oh, dude, this is where Fortune 3 would come in handy. We we should get more clay from each dig, hopefully. Honestly, I have no idea if that's how it works. See, I'm gonna get a bunch of clay and uh, I'll meet you guys probably over at the super smelter so we can actually use it for the first time. All right, I am back with a moderate amount of clay. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this between each of these super smelters just to see how fast we'll get it done. So let's empty all of that in there. We'll empty all of this in this one. I've also just gone ahead and pre-prepared a whole bunch of lava buckets. So let's add all of these in here. Oh, and I just realized the hopper actually gets full. So it's gonna have to do two trips. Uh. Oh, okay. What we might have to do is actually switch that off and do the same for this side just so the bucket stays in there. And I hopefully that'll prevent another one from getting added into the same furnace because I want all of them to get powered instead of just, you know, the first five or whatever. So let's do the same over here. Add all of these lava buckets in. Now let's just test this out. Let's turn on the fuel one. Why is it going so slow? Oh my God. God damn it, dude. What the hell? Come on. It's almost there. Come on, you can do it. Why is that not working now? This was literally working last episode, and now it's going so slow. Why? Uh, that is actually so annoying. All right, I'm going to sort this crap out. Ugh. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. I've got it working semi-decently. I had to actually put a whole bunch of blocks in all of these hoppers so that it can't just like, you know, take all of the freaking lava buckets at the same time. And I also just raised all of these up one extra block so they actually go a lot faster over the hoppers. Yeah, literally, I thought I got it working in the previous episode, but um, I guess I was wrong. So now what we can go ahead and do is turn these on and should take all of the items and all of the buckets down into this chest here. Okay, so it actually doesn't take out full lava buckets, which is pretty sweet. Oh, and it's actually going to take a while to deposit them as well. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Oh god damn it. Okay, well to fix that, I think what I'll just do is probably... Oh god, this is, um, this is painful. I might actually just replace this entire track here with hoppers instead that'll just feed directly into the chest, because that is going to take way too long. I didn't even think of that. God damn it. Okay, once again, I'll be right back. Okay, oh my god, that was annoying, but it's all fixed now. Jesus Christ, man. All the items just instantly get put into this chest, which is pretty sweet now. In hindsight, I probably should have tested this a lot more before I, uh, you know, just kind of closed that episode off. But, you know, I've learned from my mistakes. It won't happen again. But, yeah, we've now got a whole bunch of bricks that should hopefully be enough for what we're wanting to do. We're just going to be using the bricks for the trim of the roof, so we're not going to need too many. But now it's time for the arduous task of finding a dark oak forest. I'm going to have to try and figure out where I came from. I'm pretty sure it was over this way somewhere, so I'm going to do a big adventure over that way. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys once we have uh, hopefully found a dark oak forest. All right, I've just made it over to here to our new village that we're working on. I've come up to the existing village up here on this little like church building. I don't really know what it is. And there it is. There's the dark oak forest that I was trying to find. So I'm going to make my way down and grab a whole bunch of wood. So yeah, let's head on down and get started.
Okay, we are now back at the island with everything we should need to start building in these house designs. I've got a whole bunch of dark oak wood, I've got stone andesite, and also our brick slabs here. And so let's just get started building our first house here, just to get an idea of how we want all of these houses to actually look. So let's maybe start the first house over here. Let's maybe go, uh, bang, like right there, I don't know. Let's make this one just a small one just to get our footing. And now I'm just going to quickly connect up all of the framework here together. So, uh, yeah, just give me a second. All right, now with that crap done, let's jump back down and get started on the wall designs here. So let's add in a nice little textured design here. I'm gonna have to make some stone stairs real quick. Give me a bloody second, mate. There we go. Also need a door, God. <laughs> Bang, there we go, there's the door. Now, as for the windows, I think... Dude, this guy just plopped out an egg in my house. Get the hell out. Why is there so many animals here? Go away, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so for the walls, let's go with... Dude... Don't make me do it. I'm thinking something super simple like this with a fence window. I think that's going to look kind of like, you know, uh, Fisher house vibes. I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, of course, repeat this on the other side. And at the back, we'll just have a, you know, solid wall. All right, and that's looking pretty good. I think we're going to have to also add some details. Okay, there we go. I've got some fences now. Let's place some logs like this. Let's do some stairs on top, and then we'll connect it up to the top as well. Now, I realize this is the exact same design as my village all the way over there. But honestly, I don't really know what else to do. Maybe let's just try, let's try something different. Maybe let's try something like this. Let's try stairs below these little sticking out bits. Oh my God, dude, I keep stepping in the freaking water. It's annoying me. Oh my God. Okay, and let's maybe try connecting it up to the bottom. Does that look weird? I think it does, to be honest. Uh, what about something like that? That's kind of cool, actually. That looks not too bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. That looks nice. Now I need to make some fence gates real quick. So, God damn it, just give me a goddamn sec. Dude, it's so hard for me to tell the difference between the planks and the logs. They look almost identical. Okay, let's grab our fence gates and our fences. We're going to put something like that there. Bang. And then a lantern. Yeah, dude, that looks pretty nice. Okay, let me quickly repeat this around every single side here. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. It almost looks too fancy to be like a fishing village house. But, dude, I swear if I fall in the water one more time, I'm actually going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, let's go up and start on the roof here. I'm thinking just a simple slab roof like that. Okay, we might need a lot more bricks. This is going to use a lot more freaking slabs than I thought it would. Fill in these little gaps here, of course, and then the actual main roof sections here with our dark oak slabs. And there we go. That's basically the exterior done for our first little house here. Let's take a look. Yeah, honestly, I actually really like the way this looks. It's not too much of like, you know, a fishery kind of fisher village vibe, but honestly, to to get the Fisher Village vibe, I'd have to just use basically spruce wood. And I was wanting to change it up, like you guys said in the last episode. I saw the comments, you guys shitting on me, okay? Dragging me through the mud, I use the same blocks. You know what? Fuck you, man. I can do whatever I want, okay? Nah, but for real though, you guys are right. You know, I use, I do use my spruce wood quite a lot, okay? It's in basically every single build I've built so far. But this is the first time I'm not using any spruce wood, okay? So give me some goddamn credit. All right, I'm gonna stop yelling at you guys. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, okay? But there we go. There's our first house done. That is looking pretty good. I'm very happy that we actually used some different blocks for once. But yeah, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is maybe let's actually... I don't know. Let's, uh, let's actually add this dock here. So let's put away all of our dark oak here. Let's grab the spruce out. I know I just said I'm not going to use spruce, but you know, here we are. <laughs> now I had to use spruce for the dock at least. It, it, it's, it's a must. Okay. So let's have a dock that'll come out diagonally like this. I don't know how far out I want to go with it. Maybe to there like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little like docking area. You can park a boat basically anywhere around there. Let's grab a fence and chuck a lantern on that as well. Just so, uh, you know, you can kind of see it in the night. Let's actually add some pillars alongside it. I think we might need some pillars. Let's go here and then we'll go maybe right here as well. I think those are going to be some good spots. We'll also need to put some stone slabs on top of those just to match the existing dock. Bang, 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 diddly, bang. There we go. So there's our separate little diagonal dock. I don't really know what its purpose is. You know, the whole island is basically surrounded by docks, but um, yeah, that's fine. Now, I think the next thing I actually want to quickly do is add some similar stuff to this, kind of maybe on the edges surrounding the dock here. Maybe actually in line with these docks here that connect up, we could remove these and add a little step down on these little spots. And 
and then down again to some trap doors like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. We can add our fences back here too. And there we go. We've got a nice little step down section. Let's head to the next point over here and then just do a similar thing like this and like that. There we go. That's pretty cool. We can add our fences back on there too. So yeah, I'm just going to add this nice little step down section onto every little section uh, here. So we'll add it there, 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 and over there as well. So just give me a second. I will add these in right now. All right. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. We got a nice little just step down area for if we want to fish or, you know, if you're coming from this area, you can jump up here and instead of having to go all the way around. I think that's a pretty cool little feature to add. Now, what I think I'm going to do is just start a time lapse of building a bunch more houses around the place on this whole island here. I want to fill this sucker up. I don't exactly know what I want to do with this area yet. Maybe like a bit of a trading area or something like that could be pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to build some houses. I'll have a little think of some extra little details we can add to this island. And yeah, so let's get started right bloody now. So for the next house, I decided on something a little larger, a two-story L-shape. After getting the framework completed, I filled in the roofs, walls, and all the details, of course. I also left the front area open as I thought it would be a cool idea. On to house number three. This time I went for an upside down T and you may have noticed I built this directly in front of an entrance to the dock and that's actually because I planned on leaving the bottom middle section open for the path to go through. For the last houses, I just simply went with what would fit in as it was a bit of an awkward area to work with and I actually love this song. So I'll just leave you with it while I build these houses. Alright, so that just about marks the completion of all of the houses I'm wanting to add to this island. Now, I'm feeling I'm wanting to add something in this, like, middle area as well, which is why I've left it kind of bare at the moment. But actually, the next thing we need to do is add a pathway that connects up all of these little dock things to each other throughout the village. And I just realized I kind of built this right in the middle of the path, but, um, oh well, that's okay. We can just go around like this. We'll go through here, make, like, a little alleyway. And then this house is pretty cool. I made, like, this little undercover little section here, so we can go through here and around this way to link up to this path. And then this house is even cooler. You know, the central area here has this big opening and that kind of leads over to two separate houses. And yeah, this island is literally slowly becoming chicken island because I keep picking up all of these eggs and throwing them. And yeah, we... <laughs> We have a lot of chickens on this island. So we might have to actually call this island Chicken Island. Yeah, I don't exactly know what we're going to do with this middle area yet. So I kind of just want to leave it open for now. Dude, just sailing up to this place looks so nice. It is crazy. I already love the vibe from this whole freaking area. It is awesome. But yeah, now what we're going to get done is start building our little market area in this lowered section here. So I've just gone ahead and sheared a whole crap load of sheep and I've gotten some dye as well. And we're going to get started building the actual market stall. So I'm thinking we're going to have a central pathway that'll run through here and we'll connect this up to the main path. So let's just have this go all the way through here. And then alongside each of these paths, we'll have some trading stalls. So let's try and figure out a bit of a stall design here. So obviously we're going to want a like table for the items to be situated on. And the usual design I'd go with is something like this. And then we'd put a roof on top of that. It's super simple and easy to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. I want to try something different, but honestly, it is so hard to come up with a design that's small enough and looks good for like a trading stall. I just love this design. It just works so well. So I'm just going to go with it. Should be right. Actually, it needs to be a little bit bigger, doesn't it? And now it's time for the actual wool part. So let's grab out some of our wool and I want to dye some of it. And we'll just make this one yellow for now. And there we go. There's a super simple, basic little trading stall. It just, it works perfectly, honestly. We could even remove these and add some slabs in instead for a more of like a table look. And then I've also just gone and grabbed a whole bunch of item frames. Actually, yeah, we only have six, so <laughs> not really a whole bunch. And I also I made a fishing rod because what I want to do is just, uh, you know, get some fish and put them on top of those for some decorations because, you know, this is a fishing village. They're going to be selling predominantly fish. That's my uh, logic behind it, at least. So let's hurry up and catch a fish here. There we go. Our first fish caught. We got a raw cod. Let's chuck that bad boy in there. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm going to have to do this for, uh, you know, whatever stalls I want to add those details to. But yeah, let's start a second stall over here. Let's maybe make this one a little bit bigger. Let's have it be taller as well. Why not? This one's so big, I'm going to have to crack out the scaffolding. All right, there we go. There's the roof trim. Let's grab out the old wool. Make this one blue. And so we're going to do a kind of striped little pattern. I actually want more colored wool than white wool. So let's do that. 
And then we'll of course connect these up here with some slabs, not like that. Jesus Christ, man. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So we can add stuff along here, along here, and also on this table too. All right, there we go. We got a uh, tropical fish and also a puffer fish. Bang. I don't know if a uh, fishing shop would really be selling these kinds of fish, but now over here, we've got a little bit more room for activity. So we can probably add in a couple more, uh, whatever these things are called, market stalls. And yeah, so I'm going to add in a couple more trading stalls over here. I'll get this done as a time lapse just because, you know, it's the same old crap from over there. So let's get to it. All right, and there's our three fish. Um, one of them is actually a half-destroyed pair of leather boots, so we're just gonna slap them in anyway. Who cares? This is now an armor stall. <laughs> Let's chuck our other two little cods in here. Bang and bang. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Oh, actually, I think what could even be cooler is maybe let's replace one of these with the fishing rod. I don't think I'm gonna use this anytime soon, and if I need to, I can come over here and just, uh, you know, bang this off and fish, if I really needed to, you know? And now I can just eat this. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. No. Nah. And sweet mate. <laughs> now I just need to figure out what to do with this area. Honestly, I'm starting to think of making a freaking oh. That is the perfect idea. I actually just got goosebumps from that idea. What the hell? A freaking chicken pen, dude. This is Chicken Island. We're gonna make a giant chicken pen here and cram it to the absolute brim with freaking chickens, man. I'm gonna make a whole heap more of these spruce fences. Just give me a second and uh, yeah, I'll get that done. All right, one giant piggin... Piggin? What the f***? Are you... I kind of want it maybe like a little bit rounded, circular kind of shaped. I don't even know, to be honest. And let's just have this pen be absolutely massive. I want a lot of chickens in here, okay? This is going to be ridiculous, dude. I don't usually do something like this. I would, I, I want to like make it look nice, but I feel like Chicken Island is just too perfect of an opportunity to pass up on. And yeah, it needs a freaking giant chicken pen, okay? And uh, that way we've actually encapsulated most of the chicken population here too. We've also got one imposter pig, but that's okay. Let's round up the local chicken wildlife. I do want to have some just kind of roaming around as well as if they're like the villagers. That's actually a perfect idea as well. So our villagers for this island are going to be in uh, basically just chickens. There we go. Let's start breeding them. I've got five eggs here. We're bound to get... Yep, there we go. There's a baby. Bang. Dude, that is the perfect little detail. Let's sprinkle some lanterns around here, just in all the corners to keep it nice and bright. I think this area definitely needs some grass. It's very bare. So let me go quickly grab some bone meal, and uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back with some bone meal. I've also just gone and grabbed a bunch of wheat seeds so we can breed these guys up and start our little population of uh, chicken residents. I'm going to smack a chest right here and just fill this with seeds so we can keep breeding them up. Oh, there's another one. Oh, dude, it's perfect. Chicken Island is coming along nicely. I've also gone ahead and grabbed some bone meal. Let's start uh, just sprinkling these in and making this a little less flat of an area. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good amount of grass there. We're definitely kind of probably overdid it a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, let's maybe cut down on this area a bit and add in a couple more flowers. Oh my God, we're gonna have so many eggs in this area. Jesus. All right, so we got Porky Pete over here. I just came up with that name right then. He's our kind of overlord guardian of the the chicken village here. That's the law behind this village. And it all just stemmed from there being a couple chickens on this island and me just constantly freaking throwing the eggs that they were dropping. And uh, yeah, that basically created chicken island here. This is no longer just a fishing village. This is the chicken village. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to download the entire chicken island for yourself, be sure to check out my Patreon as I've got the download available over there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.